A popular program is back, and here to tell us all about it is Trooper First Class David Peters, Public Information Officer with Troop N of the Pennsylvania State Police. I'm referring to Click It or Ticket. That's a well-known program with a catchy name, but it has some serious consequences. Sure, yeah, it's a national program that's actually adopted by the uh, National Highway Traffic Safety Association. And it's really about increasing the awareness of using seatbelt. Uh, vehicle crashes are the number one leading cause of death, um, with that being increased with individuals who are unbelted. Uh, currently, right now, the Commonwealth has a, uh, a seatbelt usage rate of about 88.5%, which is uh, very good, but we'd like to increase that even more. Um, so by increasing that, we will keep people's lives uh, from being in danger from being unbelted. Absolutely. So now, when Click It or Ticket is underway, what do you do? Like, are there legitimate car stops and you check to see if people are buckled up? Well, they do that on every traffic stop they make, but there'll be uh, uh, traffic safety checkpoints out there, um, checking people's awareness to the seatbelt, um, surveys, that, that type of stuff. But if they are pulled over, um, they could very well find themselves receiving two tickets, one for the, the primary violation they were pulled over for and then not being belted. So that's the name, click it or, click it or ticket. Um, and it's really about raising that awareness to individuals to wear their seatbelt. We do understand people don't like it, it, it gets in their way, but. It's designed to keep them safe, and uh, I forbid there's ever a crash not being belted. They're going to move about that vehicle at the same speed their vehicle was, um, which can cause serious injury to them. Now, obviously, you want the driver buckled up, but the people who are in the vehicle as well need to, especially young children, and they need to be in a proper seat as well. Yes, uh, another uh, thing is their child safety seats. Children under the age of eight years old should be in a child safety seat, and that's another thing that we do during Click It or Ticket is we offer free community clinics. They, they go on all year, but again, there's a lot more that seems to, to be during this campaign. They can contact any local state police station or even local hospitals to see if anyone has a technician available to check their seat to make sure it's installed properly. Um, believe it or not, it's a, it's a training that takes four days to become a car seat technician to understand the different seat belts and uh, variations within different types of vehicle year-wise. And you want to make sure it's very snug and tight, that it can't be moved uh, an inch either way, and I don't mean it can't be moved at all, but it can't be moved more than an inch uh, left or right. And, and in Pennsylvania, it's a law to have your child rear facing to the age of two. Uh, but again, we urge parents to check the car seat, read the height, the weight, make sure that, that they're snug in there. That unit acts as that child's seatbelt for that time uh, during that time of their life. So it's very important that it's installed properly. I was confident when my children were younger that our seat was in. My husband put it in super tight, <laughs> pushed on it, you know, did everything. So I went to a state police check uh, thing to get it checked, and they took it out and they redid it. And when I saw what they went through, like they crawled in and out of the car, like practically throwing their backs out of whack to get at it. But then that thing did not move at all. So you might think you have it in right, like we did, but we didn't. Absolutely. I mean, and most people don't realize once you get it in there, your, your child gains weight, they grow taller. Um, the weather changes here in the season, so you have heavy, heavy clothing on. So what you think is snug isn't necessarily snug. Mm -hmm. um, and again, you're not trying to hurt the child, but again, that is the seat belt for that child. So it's very important that the seat isn't moving and that the child isn't moving within that seat. If people need this important information, uh, maybe they're not aware of what the laws are. Where's the best place they should go for the latest information? They can contact the state police barracks. They can go on the Pennsylvania State Police website during Click It or Ticket. Uh, all child safety uh, community events that are out there are posted on their uh, website, letting people know where they can go to get a free car seat check. I mean, we're always free. They can call the stations and make an appointment, myself or Trooper Petrosky, um, and some other car seat techs that we have at Hazleton would be glad to help them out. Bottom line, we all need to buckle up all the time. Absolutely. It, it does save lives, and we want people to make it home to their families, so it takes nothing. Just put the seatbelt on. All righty. Well, Click It or Ticket goes through June 2nd, but you should be buckled up 24-7, 365 days a year so that you can stay safe. Thanks so much for coming in to talk to us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Trooper First Class David Peters from the Pennsylvania State Police.